We're not realtors. Or interior designers. This is what the house is all about right here. But we do go into people's homes. Thanks, Mike. With their permission. We're taking you on a tour of some amazing dream homes. Vancouver is often referred to as Hollywood North with all the exciting TV shows and movies being filmed here. And if you're like us, you've probably wondered, where do all these stars stay? Well, today's show, we're going to tell you just that. We're going to introduce you to a local company that finds accommodations for these Hollywood A-listers. How cool would it be if one of those A-listers showed up today? Well, Peter, you never know who might stop by. Mm, exciting. Vancouver-based Unique Accommodations specializes in high-end rentals. It can be anything from a luxurious home on the North Shore to a condo downtown. Chad Callen and Sarah Fuchs work for Unique Accommodations. It's their job to find temporary homes like the spectacular 6,000 square foot West Van Estate for their clients, usually executives and anyone working in the film industry. They want the amenities of having a pool and a kitchen and space for their family, their friends to visit, because it really is a second home for them while they're filming here. We have been fortunate enough to work with Halle Berry to Jennifer Garner, John Cusack, Zac Efron. This gorgeous five bedroom, seven bath home is inspired by European luxury boutique hotels. The owners of the place are Donato and Mariana Dimici. Donato actually built the house himself and Mariana designed it. The Dimici family builds the highest end homes for the highest echelon in Vancouver, so obviously it's going to be appropriate for anyone in Hollywood. Sarah, here we are in the fabulous kitchen, which is fairly large and absolutely beautiful. I mean, all the detail you see around, but also very smooth and kind of hidden with the appliances. It is. So we've got a lot of built-ins, a lot of custom pieces that have been made specifically for the home. Behind us here, obviously, wine fridge tucked in right there. Very important. Absolutely. Always full. Behind us here is actually a double Sub-Zero fridge, which wow. is huge, so it's on both sides. Lots of space. And then we have four freezers. Very sleek and hidden right in through here. Everything in here is actually custom made, is it not? Everything is custom made from the Viking stove you see over there to all of the limestone uh, that runs the span of the whole house. And that's the difference between a generic home and a custom built one. We've got everything very open, so kitchen, dining room, living room to outdoor space, so everything flows amazingly. It's so great for entertaining. One of the best features, in my opinion, for the kitchen is actually the walk kitchen. Separate space, so if you're entertaining, you can kind of have all of the mess over there and everything hidden. Now, whether you're entertaining uh, here at the bar with these amazing stools, which I had the chance to sit in earlier, they're very, very comfortable. comfortable. Uh, or you're gonna have a nice sit-down dinner. Uh, you've got a little bit of a dining room over here. You've got your coffee machine in the morning. A fabulous view to enjoy your meal. But also, if you want to have something a little more casual, entertain people, you have this great living room, which we're going to check out right now yes, as well. It's beautiful. All right, let's head over. But before we see more of this classic contemporary living space, it's time to check out the ultimate place to throw a party. There are so many beautiful spaces in this home. We've got a huge kitchen, but this Something tells me this is the place you bring your guests. I would say so. Judging by the temperature controlled, open concept wine room. Oh yeah. 500 bottles of wine. Really? It's quite the party. Amazing. And a huge dining room table. Such a nice place to sort of sit down, relax, with a glass of wine, of course. Absolutely. And there's lots of details in this room that I'm noticing. Tell me about the ceiling. It's a coffered ceiling. They have built-in surround sound throughout the whole house. You can have a party in here. Definitely. And attached and very close by is probably one of the most elegant, beautiful bathrooms I've ever seen. That's a powder room, right? <laughs> it's a powder room. Gorgeous. So elegant. Well, I mean, when you have a chandelier in a bathroom, you feel like royalty. From the kitchen, you head into the living room with 
all this natural light. What a great place to relax and kind of kick back. It is. It's a beautiful place. Again, from all the windows, you still have that amazing view looking out over the city and out over onto the pool. Now, right behind us, we have these floating shelves, which are very sleek. There's no hardware, and they kind of remind me of the railing they have going up the stairs. It's all very sophisticated and uh, looks good. It does. It definitely goes with the theme of the house. Same with the limestone behind. Very sleek, very modern, very elegant. Just like me. Sleek, modern, and elegant. Not exactly words I'd use to describe Peter. No. One thing that Donato and Mariana have done really well with this place is the furniture. Anyone can have a beautiful house, but the furniture really ties it all together and makes it a home. It does, and what's excellent about this property is the pieces that they've chosen for the furniture. Mm. So it looks great, but it's also very functional. So you can definitely sit down, enjoy a hot cup of coffee, or a nice glass of wine. Sometimes furniture can be too fancy and you feel like you don't even want to sit on it. Yeah. Here, well, as you said, it looks good, but it's also functional, which is very important. Yeah, move in ready. Move in ready. I think I might just move in. Peter, listen, we've been through this. You can't move into these homes. What's great about this living room is you can enjoy it all year round, but in the warm months, you have this huge door you can open up and extend it to the outdoors. It extends not just from the kitchen to the living room, but also into the outdoor space all the way to your putting green. Your own personal putting green. Let's go check it out. We'll show you that outdoor putting green, plus the pool and side-by-side -side media room and gym after the break. Today on the show, we're touring three incredible homes popular with Hollywood A-listers visiting Vancouver. Okay, so I said the kitchen was my favorite room in the house. I don't know if this is considered a room, but I think I may have changed my mind. It's a gorgeous space. The pool itself has custom-made glass tile, hot tub tucked in down at the end, and what's a great feature for a family or if you're having a party is a hard top child protective cover that slides right out. So very family friendly. Now let's talk about the space behind us because this is really like an indoor living room, but it's outside. Lots of seating, great for entertaining. You've got the gas fireplace down the middle there, very sleek looking. And tucked in behind, you also have the double grill with rotisserie and sink. And what makes this such a great outdoor space for entertaining is that in those rainy seasons, these covers slide out and they are mildew and water resistant. Which is great in Vancouver, so no matter what the time of year is, you can grill up numerous burgers, hot dogs, whatever you want, and have a lot of fun out here. One of the best features out here is your own private putting green. Are you a golfer? Well, I do like to have some drinks on the golf course. Does that count? I like to drive the golf cart. Well, I think we might be a great team. Why don't we go practice? Let's do. After you. After you. All right, I see how it's gonna be. Get warmed up here. A little breeze from the east. I don't think east. that's gonna help. All right, we'll see. Bad. Let me try. Okay. Maybe I'll just sure. do. Okay, here we go. What? What? Professional. I think I've been had. Wow, Chad, I have to say, I love this bedroom. It's so elegant and modern. What is there not to love? Especially that fireplace. Let's start with that. The fireplace is insane. This massive fireplace, gas heated, keeps you warm all winter long. Mm, so cozy. And if that's not enough for you, the 10 foot projection screen that comes down. 10 feet. 10 feet. Wow, I heard it's 3D. 3D, doesn't get any better than that. And I have to say too, I mean, there's plenty of ways to keep yourself entertained because you have an amazing view. I think I can see out to UBC. Absolutely, and I mean, on the patio here, it's heated for winter so you can use it all year round. And because this is Vancouver, we have pretty mild weather, so you've got that heater, you can watch the rainfall. Very romantic. Very. Now, speaking of romantic, the bathroom, incredible. When you walk in there, that huge shower. Insane, it's the largest shower the builders ever put in there. One single pane of glass, and of course, it's all marble in there with a floating bench. Wow, and there's a bench, so does that mean it's a steam shower? Steam shower, it's got a rain shower, it's got everything. Feels like a resort in here. 
Let's talk about the, the classic tub in the bathroom. The, the tub, I mean, it's, it's a very modern tub, but I mean, I think everyone's focusing now these days for a master bathroom on the shower, which is why the shower is insane. And you know what else I love about that bathroom is it is elegant because of that chandelier. Gorgeous chandelier in there, and the best feature, in my opinion, obviously, TV in the toilet. No, gone are the days <laughs> of, of reading a paper in the toilet. I mean, there's a TV in there. You're not gonna get bored. That's true. That's great. Now you can watch Dream Homes in every room of the house. Okay, now you've told me there is a room in this area that I'm gonna absolutely love. Are we gonna check that out? We're gonna check it out. There's no way you can't love this. Yes. Wow, this is so sex in the city. This walk-in closet is fabulous. There's a his, there's a hers. Obviously hers is a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger, because all well, the shoes and bags, of Absolutely. Course. I was actually going to ask you, what size are those shoes, because they're really cute. I think they're a seven. Seven. And you're clearly a 10 in shoes, Bianca. You're right. It's even got its own island. It's really cute, it's got a mirror. It does, but really, storage. More storage. More storage. The jewelry is in here, which ladies, how fantastic is that? Often you've got those tiny little jewelry boxes and you're always hunting for things. This would make it really easy to stay organized. I firmly believe I would be a lot less messy if I had this walk-in closet. I don't know, Bianca. Chad, you're a great judge of character. You just met Bianca and you've already got her figured out. Well, you know what? This closet is huge. There's so much space. Um, I think I could actually skip the gym and just run laps around this place. But the nice thing is, this house has a gym. Of course it does. Chad, I love this house. We found our way into the media room. There's so much to do. Even though I think you're not doing that right. Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna leave that. <laughs> Great place to sit. Uh, there's a bar behind us. Full nanny quarters are behind us there. Lots of room. Perfect. And this would be great too if you have teenagers. No one's ever gonna hear you upstairs. It's quiet, lots of space, and if you ever want to get up off the couch, there's a fitness room right next door. Free weights, elliptical, treadmill, just not for me. Yeah, not for Peter either. We've got our glasses, really excited to watch a movie, relax. Do it. Okay. Uh, do, uh, do you want to start? Take the remote? Uh, nope. I got it, guys. It's right here. Okay, I stand corrected. Peter does work out, but he should probably do it more often and not wearing a suit. Peter, don't work too hard. We've got more stunning properties to look at, starting with this lavish downtown Vancouver penthouse. Lisa McDonald and her husband Blair spent over three years looking for their dream home. They were searching for a place downtown with lots of green space, and they found it in this West End penthouse. We wanted to, our outdoor living space to be a part of our indoor living space. So in the summer, it makes this place twice as big. The McDonald's have worked with unique accommodations in the past, but weren't planning to rent out their new penthouse. That is, until Lisa had an unexpected visitor. I said, I'm sorry, but the place is not for rent. So then my husband came up from the boat, and he said, Lisa, what's John Cusack doing out on our deck? I said, oh, John Cusack, is that who it is? And of course, two days later, Unique worked their magic. John Cusack in, and we were in Bali. <laughs> and that would be the first of three visits to Vancouver, and John stayed here every time. So this is the kind of center of the home or the heart of the home. Uh, we're in the kitchen, the kind of living room behind us, guest room, a little bit of everything around here. You know, the kitchen is always the center of everything, and so the kitchen's in the middle, and then we've got the day bed area for just lounging or extra guest room. Yeah. and little office space, so it just all works. You moved from West Van nine years ago. Yes. Was your old place similar to what we see here or different? No, it was completely different. All our furniture was old pine and oak, so very light wow. blonde wood. I wanted just kind of a New York, Manhattan, downtown penthouse kind of feel. This was the beginning of it all. I thought, well, I like that. However, all our furniture is blonde. Right. So how's this gonna work? Instead of painting that, yeah. I painted 56 other pieces wow. black. Now that's pretty cool. Lisa's entire interior design scheme inspired by one piece of black furniture. 
And the kitchen isn't huge, but you've managed to get in a big fridge, you've got a wine fridge, you've got six burners on your gas uh, stove. You've really utilized all the space there as well. Yes, this is just perfect for what I need. You opted out of a dining room table and went for a pool table, which is in front of us. We have grown children, as I mentioned, and so this way it just brought, it gave it a younger energy, we thought, where the kids would want to come hang out. Trick them into coming home, get a pool yes, table. Exactly. If you don't works. want them coming home, don't have a pool table and uh, turn into a craft room. There you go. Beautiful living room, open concept, and uh, Peter did not notice that you do, in fact, have a dining room table. Yes, we do, and it would be right there. Beautiful. How many people does that seat? That seat's 10, but we squeeze more in because we've got a family of 10 ourselves, and then we've got grandma and, you know, a few stragglers here and there. <laughs> There's still room to put grandma at that table. <laughs> Perfect place for entertaining. You've got, uh, is that a tequila bar? That's a tequila bar. Very nice touch. It is. You also have a TV, and the TV, even that is sort of in your own personal style. That TV with the uh, Baroque frame as well, because we wanted to tie it in, and we wanted it to just kind of have a feeling of old world. I love it. You were actually the first owners in this penthouse. Yes. We bought air, we bought before the building was built. That's why we had so much say in mm -hmm. how it was built and what to put in, what not to put in. And you actually chose to not have walls that they had sort of yes. originally used in the design. Exactly, we cut out a lot of walls here, they're all over. You do have four kids, do they ever come back and just you know, want to hang out in here? They never actually stay overnight, right. but they do hang out and come visit a lot. There is a place for them and who wouldn't yes. want to stay here? This bedroom space, it's very ornate, very typical with the style in this house. It is, same theme throughout, black and white and crystal and mirrors. Tell me about these huge pillars, because they caught my eye right away. Well, those pillars and that chandelier actually came off the set of the Pink Panther. I think a lot of people would ask, no door in front of the bathroom. No, we like that open living in the whole house, including the bathroom, we're obviously not that modest. Bathrooms can be attractive too. Well, I think that's the new thing. Why have your bathroom look like a typical bathroom when you can actually decorate it exactly. just like the rest of the house? Yeah. There's a bathroom also uh, next door to us with yes. a bathtub. We have a soaker tub there and it's very luxurious. John Cusack, when he rented our place, he loved to have baths and was in there a lot. Really? He would every day have his workout, he'd run up and down the fire escape, and then he oh, would... Oh, no fancy gym for him. He did No, he just ran. Fire escape. Oh. Yeah, 38 floors. Who says you need a fancy gym? All you need is a fire escape, 38 floors, probably some good sneakers and a bit of motivation. And then he would have his bath in the little princess slipper tub with uh, Epsom salt. Cusack, I like your style. Yeah, he's got good style. So here we are in the patio, 1,600 square feet. It's incredible. You've got a hot tub, you've got an outdoor TV, a yes. fountain, three fireplaces. Yes. What a great place to hang out. Thank you. Another neat thing about this patio is it has an irrigation system. So it used to take them over an hour to water all the plants. Now, it's all automatic. We have lots of parties and we dinner parties where mm. we sit around the fire. You have a lot of fun and today we're going to be having some fun as well and you have a special guest joining, correct? I do. I have my friend Mary Zelba coming over. Oh, wonderful. You may recognize her name from the Real Housewives of Vancouver TV Absolutely. show. Yep. Her and I have put together a drink that we promoted on the TV show. Well, parties, housewives, drinks, uh, you can count me in for that. Okay. Stay with us because after the break, Mary Zilba stops by with a margarita cocktail inspired by the beaches of Tulum, Mexico. Today on the show, we're touring three high-end rental properties, popular with visiting Hollywood celebrities. But first, we're taking a quick cocktail break with local reality star Mary Zilba. Mary Zilba, you're here on the patio. Thank you so much for joining us today. How oh, are you? Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm really great. Thank you. You guys are starting a business together. And yes, we are. Yes. It's alcohol. 
It is alcohol. 20% alcohol. 20%. Well, that's a lot of fun. Uh, tell me how this all started and what it is. Well, it's a drink called Bee Tulum. What is in this? Am I allowed to find out the actual ingredients? If we told you, it would have to kill you. So definitely tequila in there. We can tell you that much. Okay. Enough talk. Let's. Uh, yeah. Let's okay. So put it in there. Is that enough? Yeah. That should be good. So the colder you make it, the more refreshing it is. Cheers. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. Just another tough day at the office. We're moving on now to this gorgeous home in Deep Cove. Lots of outdoor space and eye-catching ocean views. Ashley Nielsen is a local realtor specializing in luxury homes. And her family's Deep Cove estate is no different than the houses she sells, with its beautiful interiors and spectacular views. What I love about this house is that it was built for entertaining. We love to be social. I love the outdoor living space in the pool. The family built and designed their dream home, but they don't mind sharing it with the odd Hollywood A-lister. Our family loves to use unique accommodations to rent our home out to celebrities. We just had Tim Burton leave. He was here all summer long. It's pretty cool to think that celebrities and other people get to enjoy our house as much as we do. And what's not to love about this house, starting with this spacious, elegant kitchen. I love to start our tours in the kitchen area because it's really the heart of the home where everybody gathers, you start your day, kind of end your day. Tell me a little bit about the kitchen and the features that it has. I love that it has three ovens. It's great for big events. It's also got a warming oven so when you're cooking multiple meals. And I love the instant hot water. And no, those aren't two microwaves. That's a flat screen TV in the kitchen. With so many amenities, you must actually do some cooking yourself, right? Sadly, not enough. I don't cook very often. <laughs> you have a beautiful kitchen, but you don't cook. Okay, it's a great place to order food and sit on the counter and great eat it. Great family events. The view behind us is absolutely incredible. You've got those huge windows that really gives you a good view of the infinity pool, the ocean, and kind of everything going on around you. So we are right next door to the kitchen. Tell me a little bit about this space. Well, we've got this great bar area and I love it because when you're having a party, you don't have to actually leave your party to pour your drink. Ashley, I have to be honest, you look a little more comfortable in here than you did in the kitchen. Is that fair? It is fair. I do like to pour a drink more than I like to cook. Well, hey, you know what? Pouring <laughs> drinks is a great skill to have as well. You know, that's so true. Who needs to know how to cook a roast when you can make the perfect martini? What's your drink of choice? I like to keep it simple. I like to have a glass of wine. A glass of wine, wonderful. Well, I'd be interested in one. Like a glass? Oh, are you offering? Yes. Of oh, course. okay. Well, then, yeah, sure. I'd love the glass. <laughs> We're guests in these people's home. We have to be very polite. My mom taught me well. Cheers. Now uh, I understand you have a little sitting room, which is nice to enjoy a glass of wine. We've got a really cozy living room. Why don't I show you? Let's do it. So we moved from the bar, found ourselves in the den here, glass of wine, beautiful fireplace. Now, I understand Tim Burton recently uh, stayed here. Yeah, he did, he just left. Uh, we got a lot of feedback that he really loved the home and he especially loved Deep Cove as well. It is a beautiful place and I imagine if you're working long shifts, working on a movie, you'd wanna come somewhere where it feels like you're getting away from it all. Yeah. Only 30 minutes away from downtown, it feels like you're in the middle of nowhere. Now, I understand this wine is not actually yours. It was leftover from Tim Burton. It was. It was in the house when we got it back. <laughs> we are drinking Tim Burton's wine. I'll drink to that. Another beautifully decorated room in this house, the master bedroom. Something that I've never seen before in any of the dream homes we've toured is that there's a walk-in closet attached to the bathroom. So you almost have that wing where you've got master bedroom, bathroom, and walk-in closet. Yeah, it's got a lot of space in there. It's actually got a washer and dryer right in it. A washer and dryer? Right in the walk-in closet? In the walk-in closet. It's so convenient. So convenient. You don't even need a laundry hamper. Just throw it right in the washing machine, take it out, put it back in the closet. So as if this space isn't amazing enough, I see a view and a balcony. Can we have a look? Yeah, let me take you. Okay, that master bedroom suite is amazing, but this balcony and the view, it's incredible. I love waking up to it every day. I think this is my favorite view of Deep Cove from this whole house. Well, besides it being super relaxing, our family loves to boat, so we like to watch all the sailboats go by. 
and you've got the home sort of on the other side there and the mountains and the ocean. But I also, I like the view of your infinity pool and hot tub and I'm really excited to check that out. I think Peter already beat you to it. Now I understand Deep Cove is known for its outdoor space. It's such a beautiful area, but you guys have taken it to a whole other level here. We like to spend almost all our time outdoors. I had the chance to kind of get to know it a little bit, but uh, let's start off with the pool area. Tell me a little bit about the pool and the hot tub. Well, we generally like to entertain, so we are known in this neighborhood to have people over all the time. We like to use the pool mostly. Right, and it's an infinity pool. I understand you actually keep it open all year round. All year round. Crank that heat up, it's cold outside. Don't want to go in the hot tub, you can jump in the pool. Let's talk about this space in here. So we have the gas fireplace. We like to use the outdoor heaters especially and the surround sound. Of we also course. have the outdoor kitchen with the barbecue for cooking. Wow, this patio space has a kitchen, living room, and dining room. They really bring the comforts of inside, outdoors. Now what's great about the space is, I imagine if you get in that pool, you position yourself properly, it almost feels like you're swimming in the ocean because you're so close to it. Uh, the view's incredible. What are we looking at over here? Up on the right we have SFU, and then across the water we've got Bella Cara, and then all the way down to Quarry Rock and Deep Cove. We've got the ocean, tons of hiking and activities to do, but personally, I think I just stick around here and enjoy the view. We don't leave very often. <laughs> that makes sense. Wow, Bianca, what a fun day checking out those three dream homes. And it makes sense that when celebrities are in town, they've got a long day of shooting, they're on set, they want to go home and be comfortable. Well, they were definitely comfortable because those houses had some pretty dreamy features. A putting green, outdoor fountain, and how about your very own infinity pool with ocean views? And how about Sarah and Chad's job? They have a very cool gig. They line up celebrities with dream homes. They've got a big list of names that they work with, but that list is growing. Today, they can add two more onto it. Me, Peter Verge, and you, Bianca Salterbeck. Or just me, Bianca Salterbeck. You know what? On second thought, probably best for the company's reputation. Stick with her. We found ourselves in the den after the bar in front of the fireplace. Sorry, I'm going to try it again. I forgot an R in front. <laughs> In front of the fire is. What a fun day checking out those three dream homes. And you know, when we were there looking at them, I started thinking, I'm probably talking a little too much right now and I should shorten it up and just start over with this thing. Is that all right with you? That sounds great, Perfect. Peter. Perfect. Well, let's, let's do that again. Let's go in three, okay. two, three.